today I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to pair tops with bottoms for a balanced autumnal look. I know autumn can be a bit tricky when putting outfits together because sometimes we're wearing layering items and sometimes it's just too hot and the actual top we're wearing may well in itself be the layering item. And I'm working with Simple Retro on this video. They have very kindly sent me some tops to share with you. And I know that not only do I love Simple Retro, but you do as well, because you, many of you had discovered them before I had. And of course, Simple Retro are sponsoring this video and very kindly offering you a discount. Details will be in the description box. Let's start with a Jelani blouse. That happens to be the one I'm wearing at the moment. It's got this beautiful, beautiful uh, rose, embossed detail here, a little bit of lace detail as well, a frill, a neck there, and some detail around the sleeves. But you know me, I'm one for pushing the sleeves up. And then showing showing the detail here just below the, the, uh, the elbow. Now a blouse like this, I think, is the perfect balance between femininity and casual. The intricate hollow and rose embroidery is such a pretty detail, and the colour is soft white, which is not harsh against us. So, a softening blouse for us, softening around the edges with a ruffle neck, softening with the detail here, softening with the colour. And when the neckline's done up, it's got a little pretty bow detail. Now, I've decided to pair this soft feminine blouse with a pair of tailored trousers. So, we've got the softness up here, and then we've got a bit of structure below. I've also added a little bit of contrast in colour, because instead of going for ivory or a cream off-white for the autumn, a beige colour contrast, but just enough that it's not saying winter. Now, if you're watching this from the Southern Hemisphere, this is spring too for you, isn't it? Now, these neutral tones are perfect for, say, the quite luxury trend that's still around. But if you want to edge things up and if I were to put a layering item over the top, if it was a little bit chilly, I would. I would edge it up a bit and I would add a leather jacket or PU leather ja jacket. And I'd go for a cropped one, they're modern. Shows off the waist knot line, gives me the length in the legs. And I just think the contrast between a feminine blouse like this and an edgy jacket, it says, I'm not too pretty, pretty feminine, but at the same time, I'm not really rock a bike chick. And then I would add a black belt and some black footwear to bring the blacks together. I would add a black bag as well. Now, I'm just going to remind you of a style tip here that the sizing I have got is small for my size. And this is my size. I'm five foot two and these are my measurements. I've ordered small and everything. However, if you filter on the right hand side, you can see filter by size. You can see uh, a wide size range. Filter on your size if it's extra small or extra, extra, extra large and see what's available in your size. This blouse now, which is the Sasha, and it has very on-trend stripes down it, but also the frill neck. I love the double, look at the double trim here around the neckline. Cuffs, not straight, little bit of edging there, the pointed edging as well. This attention to detail I absolutely adore. And you know, these are reasonable prices, really reasonable prices. For the attention to detail, you'd be surprised at how ridiculously affordable these are. There is a neck tie which then gives you a, you know, a, sort of a, a preppy tie look at it's done up. But you know me, I'm going to have it undone and I'm just going to have the ties. I could cut them off, but I'm going to have the ties just hanging loosely. And, but I might cut them off. I may come, I'll cut them off. I just feel it's more, it looks more relaxed undone and those just hanging loose. But they're adding a bit of an edge, a bit of style. So for the autumn, I have styled this blouse with some ivory trousers to, to give it a bit of a soft autumn look. Again, perfect. The spring in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm talking to you. Ivory is the colour for jeans this autumn, according to the London Fashion Grapevine. But this blouse also is going to look great with olive. And I do want you to explore greens and blues together. And this sort of soft blue compared with olive is perfect for autumn and also for spring. Finish it off with loafers, backless loafers. Or ballet flats if you've got them. And this is a look for a day out. It's coffee, it's brunch, it's seeing friends, it's smart shopping. Now, of course, we have cooler days in the autumn as well. And we may want to layer up with a cardigan. So I'm using the sort of a skinny, slim fit, but lots of movement, lots of stretch in it, the Oakley cardigan. 
Now, the website shows this as the item on its own, done RP, wearing it as as your, your top piece. I actually find it a bit too tight for me. Not tight as in rigid, but just um, a little bit too clingy for me, done up. So I'm going to use it traditionally as a cardigan with a little camisole or a t-shirt underneath. Now, it's got a classic lapel neckline, but the stripe is the modern, it's a modern vibe, and especially in black and ivory. It's perfect for modern layering. Now, for autumn and being a cooler day, you're going to wear this. I wanted to go for that more darker colour. So I've used some black cargo trousers, but black jeans, black straight trousers, black flowing out wide leg trousers also would look great with the shape of this cardigan being slim fit. But pairing it with the cargo trousers, I've got a relaxed daytime modern vibe, yet simple retro uh, designs retro clothes. That's what's inspired simple retro. Three women in New York who were friends loved boho retro clothes, loved thrift shopping for those older designs, so decided to put together their own range of clothes, clothes that they themselves would love to buy. Ironically, though, a lot of the retro styles look modern because we had this 1970s boho vibe on trend. But let's get back to the cardigan. So the cardigan, I've left it open with a cami underneath for a really casual, relaxed look that we can wear in our 60s. And again, I would add some loafers and the only loafers I really have are backless ones. This is what I'm showing you. Some days we're going to be really, really casual. And so I chose a sweatshirt. Now there, this is a very preppy vibe. And I'm not normally one for preppy, but I felt that we could get away at our age with this sweatshirt. And it's something then we could have that is a little bit preppy. You know, a little bit tennis club. Uh, it reminds me of that program. Oh my goodness, we were all watching it. The house, you know, the stranger in the house, whatever it was, and it was very coastal. Um, and the clothes were all very close to all, but there was some tennis core in the, in the, in the um, Nora. Nora Brunnock, wasn't it, the character? And um, yeah, Nora Brunnock, something like that, anyway. And she was uh, often wearing tennis core. Well, okay, so it's not a tennis jumper, but it's along those lines. It's that coastal winter autumn vibe, I'm guessing, from this sweatshirt, as well as being a bit preppy. Okay, that's me waffling. But still, my point is... I love it like everything else, but I love this in particular because I've got nothing like it and I had wanted something like this that I could wear. So it's collared uh, stripes. And to me, it's the right level of cozy and chic. It says coffee on a rainy Sunday out, people watching in a cafe, reading the newspapers because they're the newspapers out. Well, they used to anyway, some on Sundays, didn't they? And you could sit there and read the newspaper. And for a casual vibe, I have paired it with some slim fit joggers. Easy weekend look. It says, this look says, I work all week, I'm important. And this is how I dress casually at the weekend out, people watching and having my coffee and reading the Sunday Times. Don't let that put you off. <laughs> anyway, to actually play on that look, I added some pearl studs. I would have liked to have added slightly smaller ones, but I seem to have lost my smaller ones. And this is the only size I've got, quite chunky. So, um, and also a black tote. But also to make it a little bit modern and edgy, I have added leopard print trainers, trainers that I've had in my wardrobe for quite a while, but leopard print is going to be on trend. So I thought, well, okay, well, let's have a play with leopard print as we pair this outfit together. But if we wanted a totally sporty spin, you could add a little layered bomber jacket over the top and more sporty, heavy trainers. And then, of course, that's that traditional autumn outfit, the puffer vest, which would go perfectly over a preppy sweatshirt like this. And I have used burgundy, yeah, the colour of the autumn and on trend. And I've also got a, a black one that looks fantastic with it. So the black works because it's, it's that black dark column of vibe that we've got going and on the other hand the burgundy because that's an on-trend color and anyway burgundy ivory and black look fantastic together we can't leave the sweatshirt though without me pointing out the anchor detail on the front and the little 
trippy cross at the neckline. A change again. And sometimes we want a blouse in the autumn, again, that we're not going to layer something over. So we want the blouse in itself to be the feature and have enough features that the itself is the layering item. And this is another perfect example. Sometimes we also want to avoid a crew neck or a v-neck. And what about a square neck? A square neck is going to be incredibly flattering on us. This one's also got a bit of lace detail around the shoulder here and down the front. It's got a little bit of puffing here in the sleeves, beautiful lace de detail on the cuff, and it's a peplum design as well at the, at the base, at the waistline as well, which is very good for hiding the tummy, remember? So this is called the Jasmine blouse. And honestly, this is a showstopper. This says lunch out, also says coffee. And I'm sure that if you're wearing this blouse with a pair of jeans, whatever you're wearing it with, and you walk into lunch, a pub, a coffee shop, people are going to admire it. It's got that French-inspired, vintage French chic look about it. Now, I wanted to pair this with some looser jeans. So I went for a pair of vintage loose jeans to play on that vintage look about it. But I think the two together because wide leg trousers and because you know, stripes and well, something like this is classic, really. Forget trends. This just looks plain pretty. It's a light blue and tan print on ivory, but they call it peach or apricot. They call it sort of like blue and apricot. But to me, the color is more of a little, little bit of a tan. Now, I think it works beautifully with the straight, straight wide leg vintage trousers that I've got here, vintage jeans in the light wash. The colours contrast well, and because you've got the peplum flowing out, that adds width to the top against the straight wide, wider uh, fit of the trouser. You've got a balanced, cohesive silhouette. But I would say that a wide shoulder like this, I feel if you're petite like me, you need a heel. So go for a length of trouser that's actually going to allow you to wear a heel with it because a w the width of this blouse across the shoulders can be shortening if you're petite and you're not wearing a heel. If you're a regular height or if you're tall, it will look gorgeous in flats. Now round necks can be a bit difficult and unflattering, but how about a 3D round neck? Yes, 3D. I could not resist this blouse. And now I've got it. I am so pleased with it. The le the height of the neck is it's not crew neck; it's down further down, which gives us a lovely opportunity to show off this best part of us here. These three D roses around here, fully attached. Oh, so face framing it's so flattering, and the dusky pink or color is great with grey. I'm talking to my hair now. And I do think as we get older, we may feel the need to add a bit more femininity to our outfits to downplay the fact that we naturally become a little bit more masculine. And this blouse says to me, prettiness paired with jeans and maybe grey jeans, grey straight cropped jeans with a, a blouse like this. A blouse itself is the feature. You're not necessarily going to layer it. There's your crop jeans as well, showing your ankle at the same time as showing a bit of your neckline here and so on. The jeans are, are plain, making the blouse a statement. The blouse got a bit of a peplum as well, adding the perfect balance to a cropped slim fit grey jean or any colour. I've used grey because I love grey and pink together. Add a pair of loafers, another spring or autumn transitional season pretty but well-balanced outfit but this blouse also says to me wedding as well as going out for a lunch going out for something that's a little bit more special where you want your blouse to look a little bit more special you may already have a skirt that you you wear and you're looking for a blouse that's going to go with it perfect perfect this says that to me special occasion as well as wear it with jeans and just wear it casually for for lunch, for drinks, for coffee. Because if you look at the price, you're not splurging. 
Now, being a natural myself, I wouldn't normally have a neckline done up, but I couldn't resist this. But however, it does have a tie here. And I feel I would want to really maybe, for myself, undo, have those hanging loose, or I'd may maybe remove them. But I wouldn't necessarily undo the button. I think it um, the feature of this blouse is that neckline is a continuous circular shape. And the fact it's low enough that makes me feel like it's not a crew neck and not aging. I think it's quite flattering. But also you can wear it undone like that and just have the, have the ties hanging down. But I'd be tempted myself. For me, as a natural, I probably would take the ties off, cut them off and wear this done up. But let's just look at the features again quickly because not only does it have the gathered waist, which is feminine, but also a lot of detail around the sleeve as well as the cuff there, that elasticated, ruffled look. The whole blouse is feminine and goes so well with something more rustic like a pair of jeans. Now, if all that femininity has been too much for you, how about we just get back to basics? And also, you may think you're seeing double because you may think you've seen this print before. You have. It's the same print as, the, as was in the square neck peplum blouse apricot and blue that looks more like a tan to me. And this is the Violetta shirt. So the classic lapel, pocket detail with an anchor on it. And this just gives chic, upmarket, expensive looking elegance to a normal striped shirt. I say normal, it's got the anchor detail on it. That, that gives it an expensive vibe. Detail at the cuff, where the cuff is slightly folded over, but that's stuck down, it's stitched down. So you're just going to push the sleeve up for a chic look. And you're going round in not just a striped shirt, but you're going round in a striped shirt that says it's designer, but the prices just aren't. I've paired this then with, for colour contrast, with some navy thick chino jean style trousers for a simple stylish autumn look. And this is the kind of shirt, of course, that you can layer if you need to. But why layer it? Show off the details, show off the cuff, show off the pocket. Walk around as if you're wearing something that's two, three hundred, five hundred dollars, but it isn't. It comes with a necktie, so if we look at the web website, it shows the blouse worn with the tie as a, as a bow at the neck. Now that's not for me. What I would do instead is untuck the shirt and use that tie as a belt for a sort of more casual, natural vibe. So you've got two ways of wearing this. So how about we move on to a layering item? And this is a bit of a fun one. It's a bit whimsical. And yes, it's a cardigan with cats on it. Unusual for me. Yes, I wouldn't normally go for that. But do you know why I did? It called to me thinking cosy autumn days, coffee or hot chocolate, fire on, reading a book, pouring with rain outside, maybe thundering, maybe in the winter it's going to be snowing. Cosy vibe. Will that ever happen? Will I ever have such a day? Don't know. Will I ever sit and read when I have such a day drinking hot chocolate and, and coffee? I don't know. But that cardigan says it to me. And sometimes we buy things because they say something to you. So this is the sort of cardigan I would wear around the house for cosiness. Maybe out for coffee for cosiness. It's the Alina cardigan, and not only does it have cats, but it also has a snowflake design on as well. It's actually quite thick and very warm. Such a fun piece for lounging around. I could wear it over this nautical blouse. The colours would go perfectly. The collar goes well with the cardigan. And I would push up the sleeves of the cardigan to show so I'm showing the cuff of the shirt. And it adds a bit of whimsy to something that looks like a very expensive looking shirt. But... With a cardigan like this, think of gifts. Think of a uh, younger woman in your life that might appreciate a cardigan like this. Someone who loves cats, maybe. Now, how about a jacket? A traditional jacket. This is a tweedy looking jacket called the Gloria. So it's understated elegance and you can wear this with so many things because it's such a neutral dark color for the autumn and the winter. It's thick as well. It's what you need as your tweed dark tweed jacket, collarless, cropped, totally on trend, but classic, won't date. It's structured, but it's got gold rose buttons that add a bit of femininity. 
and it's so neutral it's going to go with so many items in your wardrobe layered beneath it now i've tried pairing this with the jelani frill neck blouse because then you've got a really good contrast between the collars the the colorless of the sh of the tweedy jacket the structure of the tweedy jacket with some femininity underneath they look really good together but this jacket is going to be such a useful item in any wardrobe now moving on to the festive season the velvet swing cardigan with some rose floral embroidery on it now you could wear this undone or done up over a detailed blouse but i actually like this just over a camisole because i love the neckline done up it's got a sort of a scooped v-neck to it when it's done up and it just does up does up one button at the top and then swings open beautiful swing shape you can just see this not only with jeans in the winter but also with your velvet trousers or velvet skirts it might be just the casual velvet top you're going to need to go with any items that you're wearing over the festive period it will go beautifully with say leather trousers or pu leather trousers uh, leather skirt as well i think it could be worn over black or over ivory very easily bringing out the two colors that it features but also think of the metallics your golds your silver your bronzes they will work with those as well it may be you just don't want the structure of a formal velvet jacket. One like this, the swing jacket, will meet your needs because it will give you that movement but also look smart, pretty and chic at the same time. This will help you look festive, gorgeous. Now Simple Vetro, do have a look at their website. Rouse through items that are going to suit you and your sizing. Look at the description box, take advantage of the discount. But you're also going to want to know how to look edgy this autumn and I've got a video for you here.